whoops. Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Darcy. Taking a sip of a drink. It is more time for more if I remember. Now, Sunday, I did not make a, I did not do a prompt on Sunday yesterday, which was the fifth coffee and button card. I had ideas. I mean, I had some coffee stamps that I thought, oh, I can make really big coffee buttons and put them on a button card. Or I could take a coffee cup picture and put it on a card and then put buttons on that. But honestly, well, one, I do a live on Sundays. So, and I did do a short that I put on my YouTube channel, but to do another video, it's just a lot for me on Sundays. So sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And two, I'm, I don't need a lot of ephemera of button cards because it's just not something that I'm going to use. I might use a button here or there, but I'm probably not going to use a button card. So I did not make a video yesterday. I did not make a ephemera yesterday and I'm not going to feel bad about it. And that's all there is to it. So we're moving on. I'm not going to do any catch up. I'm just going to move on. Uh, so today is December 6th. So number six is napkin image and tag. And as I've said before, I'm using these prompts as a way to get some mass making done. And I'm, you know, gonna, this is just four days worth. And so I'm getting some fun stuff to use in future journals. I just have to remember that I put it on top of my printer and stop looking for it all over my floor. Now, I, uh, I've already gessoed a lot of these tags. So I have, right before this challenge started, oh, that's a different, that's an older one, but I still might use it. Um, I did some master boards. Now, basically, the master boards I did is I just take, took scrap papers and on manila folder, just collage scrap papers on the manila folder and um, then cut them down. So a master board is just a bigger piece because not everybody knows. So here's an example. So this is just a piece of cardstock actually. And I do that so I don't have to back it. It's already backed. Although, you know, some people, if they make a mess like me, will want to still cover it. And I don't know, my, my journals are more grungy. I don't worry too much about it. Unless I know it's gonna be a really big mess. So I would collage on this paper and then I would cut them down into smaller pieces like this, or like this, or a long piece that could be a belly band or a long pocket on the side, and cut them down. There's a video I did last week cutting them down. They're kind of fun to see how they turn out. Sorry about that. Let's make sure this is screwed good, okay. So I've, I'm using these in today's tag. So yeah, got these as tags. And I'm just taking some gesso. And then some of these are going to run because, it, um, or they'll bleed because of they're on printed paper. Like this is printed and it was before I had my HP and before I even started buying 32 pound premium paper. Apparently, if I use my 30 pound premium paper for my pieces that I want to collage with, which I'm collaging with scrap, so I guess with everything, <laughs> then I won't have as much bleeding. Uh, my friend Lori told me that yesterday in the live i do a live on sundays on facebook in a group called junk journal with penny and i was hoping i'd have more of this i didn't want to have to get more of it though the gesso this is just gesso you can use a credit card you can use your finger you can use a palette knife you can do whatever you want to get some gesso on there and i just kind of want to put it in the background a little bit um this one I don't know if I'll use this one or this one. They're light enough. I might be able to put a napkin over it. Um, let's see. Also, I thought that I would do some stenciling, but I'm not sure. Um, let me find a couple where I might want to do just a little bit of... See, this has got gesso all over it now, and I'm okay with that. It's just going to add a little bit more... Just wipe it up with these. There we go. All right. I'm going to need a permanent. Um, oh, I put them down here. <laughs> I moved stuff. So, like, the Seafarer is an archival ink. And so it should be just fine to do just a little bit of. 
don't want to go too dark on it. And I don't tend to do the whole thing. Uh, you know, I just kind of, but it'll be a nice background for a napkin. Let's see, hopefully, depending on which napkin I use. And I like a damask. I mean, I do a lot of grungy, but all right, Carrie, I know you don't like this word, but I like the ju juxtaposition of grungy and like some gold and some damask and, you know, like, you know, like this nice grungy look with some, some fun metallics and, um, you know, little damask or whatever it is you might want to use. What else do I have? I actually, um, I might have organized my stencils a little bit the other day. As in, put them where they're supposed to be. I don't know why I'm not pulling out the whole thing, because now I'm going to have to find where that envelope was, and that's annoying. Um, Seafarer, I, when I saw it, I was like, oh, I need that, because, um, as you can see, I use a lot of teal in my stuff, and here I just kind of want to get a little here and there. So I put some there, there, and there, and it brings this into it. And so it brings that down to the rest of the card. And I feel like when you stencil across some um, some uh, collage, it makes it feel like more cohesive. That's just me. Uh, that's kind of seafarer-ish. Close to it. There's some blue in there. Let's just get a little bit here and there. There we go. Not a lot, just a little bit here and there. And I don't have to keep, I could change my color anytime. I've got some, I use a lot of blue. <laughs> I could even do some, some browns and whatnot, more neutral colors. But why, why, why would I want to just use neutral colors? I really, I, and when I ordered this Seafarer color, I ordered the ring ink right with it because it's the color I've been looking for. <laughs> just tell you right now, it is the color I have been looking for. Okay, so this one, I'm more likely to find my fern. Where is it? Here he is. Don't know why he's a he. But um, this little fern green. And I have a lot of these. All right, there's my green one. And I just took, um, this is like medical tape. I think is what it is and I put it on there so I could write on there and still see it even on the dark the dark bits um, let me just find another stencil here oh I've been wanting to try this one okay ha 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 I got this one at Rose Cottage Crafts L LC I don't know it's got to be the one in America. I talked about it in another video. I'll have to find Rose Cottage Crafts Company or Rose Cottage Crafts LLC. Oh, it goes this way. So I thought this might be a little bit of fun to see how it comes. I can't really tell exactly what I'm doing there, but... I got some green on there. It's not exactly the same green as that, but that's all right. All right. <laughs> How about this one? All right. Now, what's going to happen with this one is I'm going to do some green, but I've got some blue on there, but it's permanent. Oh, yeah, it's permanent, so probably not going to. I do like when it um brings in both colors a little bit. So, there's that. Do I want to do any more? This one could use a little bit. Oh, I think I want Seafarer for this one, though, because it's got it in here and not really a lot of other places. All right, so Seafarer, cover for my fern. So how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is well and happy and content and having the best Monday ever because Mondays don't have to be bad. They get a bad rap, though, don't they? This will be especially fun to use on my gel plate. Um, I haven't done that yet, but I'm going to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. So that's fun. Any other ones? I've got other ones, but do I want to? All right, let's talk about these. Let's see. I've got these, which are perfect. Oh, I like to do this sometimes. Now this one, 
I'd probably do some brown on maybe or black. It's just some, I might use black. I just might. You can do that, you know. You're allowed to use black ink for your stencils. It's okay. And then I'm going to just kind of come down this edge, probably get it on the card behind it because, nope, I didn't because I had left. If you don't want to get stuff on your stuff, don't do stuff on your stuff. Tara is always like, Tara Jacobson, Artsy Farsi Life, she's always like, if you don't want to get glue on your stuff, don't glue on your stuff. Because she'll like glue her people, her, 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 uh, things on top of her project. Okay, so see this just helps kind of unify the, um, the two different pieces to make it look a little more cohesive. So I like that. All right, these, all right, all right, all right, all right. This has like that dark gray there. So it might be nice to bring a little bit of, uh, of that somewhere else on the card. And I might even connect it a little bit here and there. Mm. I kind of want to, there we go. And we'll see what that looks like after we get a napkin on there. Do I have any other cards that need something? All right, and then I have uh, a couple Tim Holtz ones that are just scrap pieces that I can use as a tag. And where's the cover to my... Let's put the cover back on before we end up with a mess. Ooh, a little... Oh, this has got red on it. I think I'm going to do red. Some red hound's tooth. Which one is red? This one's red. So see, no matter if I have it on a black one, I can still see what I wrote because the medical tape kind of shows white. I love a hound's tooth. Let's go the right direction. Is there a right direction for hound's tooth? I don't know. I'm gonna kind of go. I want it to be red, 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 not pink. So it'll be kind of like over there. And fine, we'll do our threes. Got the red here, red here, and we'll do a little bit up here. There we go. We have our triangle. Although, you know what? Who cares about a triangle? I need a little red down here. <laughs> triangle, schmiangle. Gonna be a rectangle. Oh, this one might be good with red. I don't know how we're gonna end up using it. It could be tag could be a pocket but I would most likely usually I have the darkest spots at the bottom and okay hounds tooth will not work with this one how about some splotches or oh, oh I got a couple new ones in here too where's that clock I just saw it oh, oh I've got oh these I think that'll do a lot of red hold on I want something numbers maybe Numbers or could do some gears, squares. Oh, let's do. I haven't used this a lot, so we've got. Let's do it the right direction. This is the right direction. So we have some numbers here. Okay, we need to bring some red down here. Maybe these bigger numbers, like that. And um, lucky 13 down here in this corner in red. Nice. I actually do think 13 is lucky. That's why people say it's bad luck so that other people, so they can get all the luck from it. <laughs> and other people can't because they think it's bad luck. See, I think it was a trick way back when. All right, so I've got some gesso, I've got some stenciling, and I've got some that don't have anything. Oh, I also think I'm gonna put a napkin on this. If you saw my haul, I got these at the thrift store today, and these are the ones that look vintage and aged, and oh, they're so cool. So I'm excited to use those with some napkins. Now, where's my blue napkin? I have one napkin that I did not take the backs off of, in case anybody's new. And, of course, that napkin has disappeared on me. Probably fell on the floor. 
knowing me. All right, let's see. It has to, but here it is. All right, most napkins come with three layers. Some just come with two. And you just you need to make sure when you're gluing these on that you just have one layer. The first layer is usually pretty easy to get off. Um, I was using where is it? I was using my little um my little rubber finger today, and it seemed to be helping at least get that oh, that first layer off. But it didn't do that with the other napkins. All right, so here's the bit way back layer, and then there's a middle layer, and then the front layer. Now this particular napkin I'm not pushing hard I'm just oh it did it on that one well it might have already been loose but it kind of loosens it up sometimes but if it doesn't like if that didn't work then I would take a piece of tape and or just something sticky sometimes I'll just use this because it's been sitting here for a long time and you put it on here and you press it if it's regular tape you won't have to worry about it and it pulls up that one layer and then you can start removing it so if you're new napkins that's it and then sometimes not every time you get this really nice ghost print on that second layer so this one I really like to use the ghost print on because it's not quite as dark and is better for background but I really like this as a background too because I don't know if you figured it out but I really like the color blue and green and everything in between so these napkins are what I have to work on today. This one I did save the back to. Oh, and of course, squirrels. And this one is a nice background. See, these ones I didn't save this middle layer. This one only had two layers because uh, they weren't as dark. This one, when you get them at Dollar Tree, especially, you will find that they're just the middle like this, which is fine. I mean, you get them for a dollar, and that's the perfect size for a tag. If you want to fill a whole page, you might want to go to uh, and get these ones at Tuesday morning. And that is the whole kit and caboodle right there. And then, if you've ever, if, uh, if you watch Gail Gustinelli, and I also have some videos doing the fabric, napkin fabric covers, I think that's what you'd want to search, is nap, napkin fabric covers or fabric napkin covers. Either way, you've got the right words. And we do layers of napkins until we get like a top layer that are the prettier napkins, but we start out with like these kind, or if you just wanted a background with some hint of butterflies, that works for that. So these are all the ones I have to work with today. Here's another one that had a nice Columba ghost print. It is best to use ones with a white background, but sometimes you love a napkin so much that you don't care what color the background is. And I definitely want to use some of these feathers today too. So a lot, some people are doing these Christmas. I'm not because as I said, I'm building up my stash. So, ooh, this might work. Now I've already got pink flowers on there. Let's see, butterfly. Maybe a butterfly. Ooh, this yellow bird. He'd probably show up really nice right there in the middle. All right, and then some people use water to um, separate their napkins. I don't gent tend to. I mean, I'm not saying I never would, but mostly I put my thumbs really close together and just gently Pull apart where I want. How tall is this going to be? Okay, don't need to. And the reason that people prefer to rip them rather than cut them is because it gives you a more organic edge. Um, I'm not going to worry about my other edges because I am going to go and take the, <laughs> have the label not be there though, I think. I could have used another corner. And not have the Michael actually I don't know is it really so bad if the Michael design works is on there so I'll do him like this and he'll be right there in the blue showing up nicely you can use Mod Podge you can use um, gel matte medium and when you do that you do above and like you would de decoupage if you did it like that and you would put glue on the tag and you would put glue over the napkin and you'd have kind of that stiff uh, 
shiny, not always shiny, but you know, it would feel different than if you're using a glue stick. If you use a glue stick, you don't have to go over the top of the napkin. You just have to make sure you get all the way to the edges and make sure that nothing sticks to the glue that might be coming out the edges or whatever. So, there we go. And then you can cut off the edges or I tend to use a file or if you have a piece of sandpaper or anything like that. And that. Now if I really didn't want that Michael down there, I could do a couple things. I could put a little gesso over it or a stamp or just pull it off. Like use my thumbnail here and just kind of because there's paper underneath it. So just that would just kind of be, and I could even do this a little bit. And there, it's just, this is just a little bit. There's still a little bit of gesso in that, a little bit. And I could just kind of blend it a little bit. I could even do a little bit of gesso on top of the napkin to kind of age it, grunge it up a little bit, like when I ink it that gesso is going to ink differently than um, the regular paper. And of course the napkin is also going to ink differently. Isn't he so cute? All right, I like how that one came out. I think I picked a good napkin for that card. All right, I know, I'm so full of myself. <laughs> Not really. Was, I don't know, I, I, I joke. Don't mind me and my jokerism. All right, which one did I want to put a leaf feather on? That one might be nice, except for it's already got the dark, let's see. Ooh, that with the red behind it, if we do, that's got some orange. Ooh, a long feather on this one, let's try that. This one's gonna be a little bit more of a challenge, but, oh, won't that look awesome? <laughs> Good luck pulling that one out. Now this isn't a full feather, so I'm not worried about ripping into that. I'm more interested in getting this feather in the middle. And I might pause for a minute so you don't have to see me just fiddle with this all day long. Or um, I could tell you a little bit about myself. I just watched Wendy, um, North Light north light oh, wendy if you're watching this comment and tell them who you are and to go watch your video where you talk about who you are <laughs> anyway she was just doing a video talking about about herself and um i don't know i've got new people probably coming to watch these videos it might be nice to learn a little something about me so if you have any questions about me ask and in each video i'll try to remember I may for totally forget that I even said any of this because you know but hopefully I'll remember so one thing about me that some of you know because you've been watching for a while and some of you won't know is I grew up in Massachusetts southeast Massachusetts a town called Middleborough actually and it's in a Doris Day movie when she's taking the lobsters wherever I can't remember what the name of the movie is in the train station and it's in it and they're like Middleborough I don't know I just remember that so that is where I grew up was born and grew up um, yeah I was born there I lived in Lakeville for I don't know a couple years a year or two before we moved before I started school but when I started school like all my school years we lived in one place and um, a good friend who watches my YouTube videos and has a Facebook group uh, and Instagram is Expressions in Journaling, I think is her handle on Instagram. You can go check her out. We grew up together because um, her dad was our landlord and it was a two-family home. So they lived downstairs and we lived upstairs. And we would go and we play in the attic sometimes where there were sometimes bees. <laughs> we'd play under the deck. We'd play on the landing of the stone steps. Uh, we'd play in the woods, in the Dead, we had it lived on a dead end. We'd roller skate in the yard. 
We do head wheels, uh, head wheels, cart, cartwheels and somersaults in the yard, you know, up until her sister got dog poop in her head. And I don't think we did it again after that. Oh, and bless her heart, her mom was the kind of woman who would be like yelling at people. Hey, don't let, don't let your dog on my yard. Okay, now I can't see much of what's behind there, but isn't that feather striking? on this tag. I'm like way up there, huh? Maybe I should turn that just a little bit. See, see that? So I can't see a lot, although I could see a little lines and stuff back there. I don't, can't see specifically what's back there, but isn't, that is a fun way to use a long piece. Those are hard, hard to do. So yes, that's where I grew up. I was not an exceptional student. I was average. I played the flute. I was in the band. Um, and I just, I had a good childhood. I was raised in a Christian home and came to know Jesus as my savior when I was young. Didn't get baptized until I was a teenager. Uh, my parents never pushed it. They wanted it to be my decision. Um, so yeah, that's, that was me. Uh, what else? Oh, I went to Awana, which I hated because I didn't like to exercise and we had to like, you know, play games where you had to run and you had to like learn memory verses. It just felt like work. Awana always felt like work to me. I, I, I never enjoyed it. <laughs> Pioneer Girls we did. Uh, our neighbor, her church did Pioneer Girls. And so she took us, she was one of the leaders. Uh, let's see, which one was she? Woodstock, I think. They, always, they all had bird names. So there was like Chickadee and Woodstock. Those are the only two I remember. And I think our neighbor was Woodstock. This is gonna like really fancy this one up a little bit, isn't it? All right, so I need to be right around here. Um, and a lot of people you'll see when they're using the uh, napkins, they'll just use the glue stick now because the Mod Podge and the other stuff is just so messy. I just no one wants to deal with it anymore. But if I get in a mood, I will like actually proper decoupage on some stuff. Oh my goodness. I'm st I got glue sticking to me. I got glue. It's multiplying. Oh, another thing about me is if I hear a term or word that reminds me of a song, I break out in song. So I moved to Virginia when I graduated from high school. And remind me next time to tell you that part of the story. You don't want to need to learn my whole life history all in one. And so like we lived on a dead end so we could roller skate in the street. There was a creek down. That really came out pretty, didn't it? I haven't used napkins in a while. And um, I said in, to Barbara in, her, in the comments of her video, I was like, this is timely. I've been thinking that I need to use some napkins. And this is just perfect timing. I think I want this big blue butterfly because we do have some blue in there. Is he too big? Most of him will be able to get on there. I don't want to cut off both sides of his wings, one side or the other. So I think we'll kind of go like that and bring down some of this flower up here. Why is my oh and Joel poor bless his heart he's still I think oh I said that in the other video I think the the hall that he's still sick it's hacking up stuff and they're like are you really that sick and I was like I was in the background I was like oh you all do not want to have him there right now it is just disgusting so he's been sick for it well they have a lot of people coming through there. That's the side that's getting cut off anyway, right? Whoops. Um, when they do the holiday feast for Thanksgiving. And it's likely somebody came in who had a really bad cold or was about to have a really bad cold. And that's probably where he got it from. That's my guess. So, you know. I told him when they do the feast again, he really needs to make sure that he wears a mask so he doesn't catch, oh, no, I did lose part of the wing on that side. Oh, and this straight line is gonna bug me, so I'm gonna fix it, I'll show you. So, 
when they're going to be more busy like that, he really needs to wear his mask. They're not required to wear their mask anymore. And he's had his shot for COVID, but he has to worry about other things besides just COVID. Especially stomach stuff, because his brother has type 1 diabetes and Addison's disease. And if he can't keep his hydrocortisone down, he has ends up in the hospital. So, yeah, we don't... We definitely don't like for him to get stomach sick and this had that straight edge on it so I'm just kind of sanding away from the napkin just to give it a more organic um, look and not have that straight line showing I'm coming I'm pressing down onto the napkin and coming away towards me and anytime we want to do that like Say your napkin is just you just kind of want it to uh, blend a little better you can do that also I could come back in with a little bit of gesso do I have any more wet gesso on here time no it's pretty much dried up but um, I could come in with some gesso just to blur that line a little bit between the napkin and where the napkin stops also since that is some script I could come in with a script stamp or ooh. I don't know, do I want to use that one? I know I have some script stamps in here. What do I have? What do I have that I can use? Oh, I think this. Um, let's just go with a little bit bigger. And I'll use black because this has black writing. Let's try it. I mean, the worst that happens is it doesn't look good and cover it with something or cut off the top of the tag. So this is from Tim Holtz. I don't remember the name of the whatchamacallit. But I'm just going to try to add some black up there. And since I put it up there, I'll also do a little bit down here. And maybe even a little bit right there. Oh, mail's here. And add some interest to my drop paper back here, right? So there's that one. How many have we done? One, two. Seems like we did more than that. <laughs> oh, so I'm gonna make a, some more and then I will come back and show you what I made and hopefully find the other ones that I made. I mean, there's one with a giant feather on it. It couldn't have gone that far, could it? Or could it? Oh, the bird and the one with the giant feather. Oh, nope, thought maybe it went upside down because if it goes upside down, it becomes invisible. It was upside down and became in invisible. So I've got four that I did on. So this one and this one definitely would be tags. In fact, I'll have the, uh, the tag shape right now. And I can even just cheat and use my, since my stencil is out, I can just uh, use that. To make my corner so if you want your corners to be the same every time you can make yourself a template or you can use your Tim Holtz stencils or whatever and I might find a also if I'm doing any different changes I'll let you know but I'm thinking that a small script stamp oh here we go I think if I find one fast that was part of my problem so a small little script stamp and we have little black dots in there and we have the dark green down there and there's some black in him so a little bit of black script I think might be nice and I don't want to cover him at all so I'm just going to kind of I'm holding it up so I just get it a little here a little there I might try to get that little stamp part up there a little bit and maybe a little bit there, a tiny bit there, to really light there. And then, I don't know, can I get this whole round bit to come out there? No, because <laughs> it needs more ink to do that. That's all right. I'm not worried about it. Anyway, it made it not feel so empty on the top, which is nice. So, yeah. All right. I will be back to show you all the ones I make in just a little bit. But it'll be in a second for you. <laughs> okay, so for the prompt for December, 
for the six was napkin and tag. I didn't use a lot of ta napkins, <laughs> still a lot of napkin left, but I used almost all the tags that I pulled out. And so here's all of them. So this is the bit that will be tagged on to the end of the video and then I'll do another video that will show these in a vertical manner. It'll be a short and there'll also be one on Instagram so I can show them on there. But I'm this is definitely a mass make. I got one oh, and I did the um the airmail envelope. Um I just did the napkin all over, did a tiny bit of stamping here and there. So that's what that looked like. And I'll probably use it like in a book, I could use it as a page, which would be really pretty. Or I could fold it in half as a pocket and still be really pretty. Usually I like to do them upside down so I could use that as a pocket. But don't necessarily have to. That little bit only shows a little bit, but that's okay. No lines. But I kind of um, used my file on the edge so that the edges would show and it was kind of an orangey red so this seemed like the perfect napkin for it so i hope you all have a delightful day and if you're doing defend remember let me know and uh, i'm gonna date one two three four this one is just here is where the napkin is that's the only napkin and then i did a sticker down there and this is one case where i actually did use scissors because i wanted it right around the edge one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, technically for tags, but twelve, thirteen, these will be more pro probably pockets, belly bands, something like that. So, there you go. I hope you all have a delightful day, and I'll see you, talk to you in the next video. Bye!